This is the German 30, DAX 30, the German index of the top 30 uh, German companies. Now, this is an interesting chart. Uh, first, we know that the global pandemic caused this crash over here, and then it's started to recover. Could it be one of those bottoms of the market, like, and I remember very well, 2008, when the crash happened and in 2009 the markets bottomed out but everything was everyone was too scared and when you look at the charts now actually could we actually go that um, go, do that and look at it if you look at it this is 2009 this is the crash it so happens that this was the low of of that and market really never looked back. If you look at the rest of the chart, let me go to a monthly chart. This was that crash uh, of the dot-com bubble. This is the crash of 2008. And this is the global pandemic. What I see here is a clear one, two, three, four, five. Let me draw it again. Politicians, please forgive me. I'm not that elegant. We're just doing the 10 second Elliott wave. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Obviously followed by A. Oops. Don't start here, please. Let's start there. Wave A. This is B. I like that. I like that concept that it's B. Why? Because within that A, B, C, can you see? There's an A, B, C, and C's usually have these, they're connected with uh, chaotic, high volatility news type of events. So if you look at this, this is what I call the B trap. So what happens is that it traps the buyers, and usually it's wave B, but it's actually the C of the wave B. Shall I draw it? Let's do that. Let me just get rid of that. So you can focus on this bit. So if you see this here, because the wave B also has A, B, C's in it. So if this is our wave A, this is B, this C has poked out, trapped those buyers, and then it drops, and it drops in a very crazy fashion, which is, it creates that impulsive wave C. Now, since it is a C, it's, that means that it's gonna be very impulsive, that's one. If you go and inspect its inners, which is this, we're not always guaranteed to see a 345 inside it because it happens so fast within a C that you have to go to a lower time frame. So maybe this wave that looks like a three down only is the entire C down. And maybe this now has begun something new. Now that's getting too complicated, so let's not do that. But if you look at this situation right now, from our standpoint here, a few days ago when I saw this, I saw three down, four up. I saw this, what we call the apple signal, which is the at the peak of a corrective wave four, you see a reversal candle like this, which could become a two candle pin bar as well, if you call it, this bit here. Then it will come here, hit those levels, create a new box low, so you would have an entry on this and then you would have an entry on below this. But then when this happens, you are now out of your trade above this box, small loss on this one and a full loss on this one. But guess what it did before that? This is the pattern that I'm interested in. Now, suppose we ignore this bit and consider that as the C, that's already happened. And if I want to assume this, that this is wave one up, then I have sufficient evidence that this is ABC down. So if I go to that ABC, again, this would be my A, this would be my B, this would be my C. And I like this because this is that fake out. I call this the principal C. So what happens is that within uh, this pullback, this wave C pokes out, it becomes a, a fake out uh, within a trend, which is against the trend. So if you look at the trend, it's stepping up. So we have series of uh, higher highs 
and higher lows, and then there's one wave that pokes a sequence of higher low, but does not actually break the, the trend. Actually, it, it's rejected, new buyers are introduced, and it goes up. From here on onwards, we are in an uptrend in this pretty nicely, and we'll see what it does around this level and what it does around these levels. So something to watch for. And on obviously on intraday, it moved significantly. So if we go to the five minute chart, you will see that it created a fantastic setup one around here, UK midday, then it created another one here. So plenty of setups. Unfortunately, unfortunately, not many setups on the M1, which is quite weird, but I've seen it happen before that you see a market move three, 400 points, and you don't really get a beautiful setup on your chosen time frame. It happens, that's normal. Uh, anyway, this means it's in a bullish formation, and we'll see what it does tomorrow.